Our friends at Walt Disney World have another After Hours event coming your way. In fact, our uh, Disney Parks blog writers have shared that Disney After Hours events will return to Walt Disney World Resort starting January 2023. These fan favorite experiences, as they call them, are scheduled to kick off January the 4th at Disney's Hollywood Studios and January 9th at Magic Kingdom Park. They offer an incredible way to experience even more Disney magic during the last months of the world's most magical celebration honoring the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. Well, it's nice to know that they care about it now. Uh, in case you aren't familiar with Disney After Hours, they write, these late night separately ticketed events let you enjoy a Walt Disney World theme park for three additional hours after regular park hours with treats such as ice cream, popcorn, and selected beverages included. Best of all, the number of tickets for these events is limited, which means lower wait times for some of your favorite attractions at Magic Kingdom Park. This means you can enjoy more than 20 popular attractions, such as Haunted Mansion, Jungle Cruise, Pirates of the Caribbean, Space Mountain, Seven Dwarfs, Mine Train, and at Disney's Hollywood Studios, you can pilot the Millennium Falcon. Oh my gosh. What Sign a sell point, up. yeah? <laughs> Sounds great. Ride through a Sounds Z really good. Easy boy. <laughs> Ride through a zany cartoon adventure in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Shrink to the size of a toy in Toy Story Land and so much more. They really know how to sell it. With Disney After Hours tickets, you can enter the park where the event is taking place as early as 7 p.m. Giving you the opportunity to get a jump on the fun. Disney After Hours admission is a separately priced ticket, uh, not included with regular daytime park admission. Tyler, with these separate special event tickets costing between $129 to $159 per person, share with us some of the reasons why it might be worth the added expense and some reasons why it might not be worth it. We know that these events are, uh, we'll say contested by a certain segment of the Disney park going population sure. and other people tend to love it. Yeah. I mean, well, first off, did they mention if rise of the resistance is going to be open? No, just millennium Falcon. So it makes me think that it won't be open, honestly. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> that's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Why would you mention the B ride over the A yeah, ride? Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, cause I've, I've, I know that like rise of the resistance requires a lot of maintenance and I know that that ride has to go to bed at a certain time. So, you know, uh, who, hmm. who knows if it'll be yeah, maybe. Available. Right. Yeah. So, anyway, I, I mean, I think that like the main reasons to do it are obviously for less crowds. I mean, come on, it's like you can show up. There's going to be a lot less people there. If you're somebody that likes to take pictures, it's going to be very easy to take pictures. You're going to get a, to see a lot of things, uh, a lot of sight lines and stuff that you normally wouldn't get to see um, with such a crowd uh, at the place. Um, and as well, like. Like Wade said earlier, like the lines usually are going to be shorter, you know, so that's a good thing to think about. Is that going to be an important thing for you? Are you going to want to do like a three hour ride rush? You know, that that sounds like it could be a value. On the other hand, you know, are you spending more money doing the after hours thing if you already have a daytime ticket and you can get a Genie Plus and you can get a Lightning Lane and, you know, will that cost you less money than actually paying for these after hours events so i think if you're into photography if you want to see a, a, the place looking beautiful without a lot of people around you want some shorter lines i think that's some good reasons to do it um and also it'll be cooler out because god you know we know what florida's like uh most days but i mean as far as like negatives go like i just it just it's a very expensive ticket and if you already have like an annual pass or if you ha if you've bought like a you know a hotel package or something like that you know it might not necessarily be worth it for you and like i said with the genie plus and things it's 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 debatable um if rise of the resistance is closed at hollywood studios i would say that's a bad value yeah oh 100 that's like don't do that unless you um, really really love writing smuggler's run and just going on tower of terror over and over and over again yeah i mean i you know <laughs> there are some great rides at hollywood studios but again if we think about the value you're getting with genie plus and lightning lane and stuff like with the price of these tickets 129 to 159 dollars per person let's be real you can save money by doing lightning lane at that point so it's you know you got to kind of weigh it out do you want to go and see the, the Chinese theater without anybody in front of it because if you want to see that sure go ahead and do it do you want to walk through Galaxy's Edge 
and not be, you know, not be dodging around crowds the entire time, then sure, go ahead. Like, I wonder if Ogus Cantina is going to be open. I wonder if, uh, like, Baseline is going to be open because... Baseline would definitely be open. Yeah, I, I just, it's, it's, it, I could see that being a lot of fun for a few hours, but without Rise of Resistance, that's the crown jewel of the park. You got that right. Um, cool. And I just, I don't know. The Magic, if, the Magic Kingdom one just sounds so much more, uh, Sounds a lot better. Yeah, like worth your while, that's for sure. Yeah. Especially so, with like the drinks, you get like drinks and um, like ice cream things um, for free. So, I mean, if you can chow down on like twenty Mickey bars throughout the night mm. and like 15, 20 soda water things, mm. um, you made your money back. Popcorn galore. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. So yeah, you. Uh, I don't think Powerade's in the mix on this one, so that is like I think that one of the no-nos because we've done one before, and yeah. it was actually really fun at Magic Kingdom because we got to see like the Kiss Goodnight, mm -hmm. and not a lot of people get to see that, and so that was like my it was like really really great to see, and then having like water and like ice cream bar, like I don't feel guilty that by not eating all of it, I just eat like a little bit and then throw it away. Um, yeah, but, we walked on to Space Mountain, and it was everything was like walk on. It was really really nice, but I mean. But that's like Magic Kingdom, right? Hollywood Studios. I don't. I don't get this. I would never do this for Hollywood Studios. I don't think Indiana Jones is going to be killing Nazis uh, on the after hours, you know. <laughs> but, but, it, I don't know what. Like that's the weird thing to me is Hollywood Studios doesn't seem to offer that much. I mean, Hollywood Studios is like a three-hour park if you can get everything True. done. So if you don't want to do Hollywood Studios one day and just do this, and then you're able to get some popcorn, ice cream, and stuff. Maybe you do that, That's and then really you try to get into Rise of the Resistance like right before this thing starts. Maybe it would be worth it. Yeah, I, 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 that's a great point actually. Of like, it's not the biggest park. Don't spend an entire day doing Hollywood Studios. You know, maybe this is actually the way to do it. Yeah, so. grab some dinner over at um, Brown Derby mm -hmm. maybe before, because you get in bef like before the part, like before the thing starts. Roll so. in at seven o'clock for dinner, right? Yep, That's roll right. in for seven, go into Rise of the Resistance before it shuts down for the night, and then it kind of like follows through, and then you can do your everything else in like an hour. <laughs> yeah, it's a small footprint of a park, that's for sure. And yeah, if you're not going to have Rise of the Resistance, are they going to do Fantasmic? Online. Cause that'd be cool too. Probably not. Oh, no, I, boo. Think so. I can't imagine for uh, yeah for an after. Is that even a nighttime show? So. Period. I'll turn in. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and it, <laughs> if Rise isn't a part of it, because uh, they didn't clarify, and there's only so much information so far uh, that they've released, if it's not a part of it, it might, it might not be worth it. That's a great point, and uh, hopefully it will be, and we will all be surprised in a positive direction. That's for sure. Welcome to this happy place. Welcome. 